Hey folks, and welcome to the Hypnotic Symposium on the 2nd of February 2024. All right, today I'm going to leave my fan off because after listening to the recording from yesterday, I could hear that it was really making a bit of a racket in the background. So the fan is off today, so I'll try and keep this short and just to ensure that I don't overheat. So it's been pretty hot at the moment in Bali, you know, we've had a lot of sunshine. Uh, it is the rainy season. Um, but it's always about 27, 28 degrees every day or year round, even when it's raining. Um, but we've had like a kind of a longer than normal uh, period of of dryness, which means that we're we're getting a bit of a, a heavy dump here later on. So it's kind of interesting uh, to see how uh, how these cycles um, sometimes uh, compensate for periods of uh, extreme wetness and periods of extreme uh, dryness. So it's kind of fascinating all right so today we're gonna i'm just gonna show like the update that i just released this is now available in your downloads and this includes the update for the supply and demand software i'm still i'm almost done with the buy and sell zones i just want to make a quick um confirmation that it's doing what i want it to do so if you're using the supply and demand software with the buy and sell zone algo, you might notice some minor discrepancies uh, in the zones, um, but that'll be uh, mitigated shortly once I get this update to the buy and sell zones algo out. I just want to show you the update so you can kind of get your head around it a little bit. Um, it's pretty awesome, and um, after using it here for a few days now, I can I can really see some some incredible uh, results. Um, if we look at We'll just start, we'll look at all the zones that we can see here. This is the one hour chart. So here we have a zone. This is a nice zone. When this little circle was formed, when this white candle closed, we were told that we should be at buy here. Price came down to it, almost to the pip. We had a test and price moved away. The next one, we had this one here. Uh, when this white dot was formed, so when this red candle closed, we knew that we were selling here. Price came up to it. We had an amazing trade. We had a micro zone just in here formed when this little uh, white dot formed and price tested it once and twice. And I think there's probably another one in here um, that caused this and we can't see that. I want to stay zoomed out so we can focus on those, but it looks like the decimals are a failure. Um, okay, then we had uh, this one here, which is formed when this dot was uh, uh, drawn to the chart. A lovely test and a nice reaction down. We had this one here, which is a little bit lower. Here, a lovely test. You see the red candle before price is left. We have another one here, formed here when this dot was created. A lovely test, price has moved away uh, vigorously. Uh, another one here, beautiful reaction. A one, one times the risk would have been ample on all of these trades so far. Um, we've got another one here. See, this was formed when this dot was created. This bullish candle raced up into it and then flew south. So that was a very quick, very beautiful trade. We had this one here. Um, I don't think anything happened there. Price blew through it. It blew through that one. We had this one here, which is nice. It was formed when this dot was created. Price came back down to it. We had a huge reaction. We had another one here and it was tested just here. Another one here, created when this dot was formed. Nice test. This one here, price came through it. It went right to the buy zone for this area of demand. Had another one here. This one was gone. This one, it was formed when this dot was created. I think price just kind of came through the level about it two times that. So a loser. Here we had another one. Done here. Beautiful entry. Huge uh, reward to risk there. Another one here. <laughs> reaction. Another one here. Nice reaction. And another one here. We caught that on the release. You see the white high of that candle tested just here before we left. That's a really bad line. Roop, like that. And so you can see, I mean, the update is pretty remarkable. It's I'm seeing this a lot. And just to show you the configuration options. I have set this, the risk to reward ratio to 1.5 and the price and balance release period to one. And this is default in the new version. Okay, so I would uh, leave it to that and, uh, and just experiment. Um, 
the opposing market structure significance is set to eight, which is an increase. It was at two previously, but now it's at eight. And again, these are results that come from uh, buy and sell zones. When I run it through uh, the back tester, it shows me an optimal um, combination of settings that gives the best results. And for those of you who don't know, buy and sell zones is actually, it was never meant to be an algo trade. It was, it was a utility that I used uh, to run through the back tester to find the optimal configuration options for the supply and demand software. And it kind of evolved into this algo trading um, uh, tool. Um, so after maybe five or six years of use, it's just like an internal tool. Um, so these are the settings that it uh, thinks are most uh, beneficial for the time being. So we will leave them at that. Uh, let's have a look on the four hour chart. Um, <clears throat> here we have some uh, similar some similar, similar things going on. We have a little zone that was, we had this zone here. This is the first one created here, tested, I mean, massive trade. Another one here, tested, massive trade. Another one here, another one here. This one is gone. This one is gone. Another one here. Really nice reactions. Two times a test. Have another one here. Tested beautifully. Another one here. Tested beautifully. Another one here. A small test. Another one here. A beautiful test. Another one here. No test. Gone. Another one here. A beautiful test and a huge reaction. Another one here. This one's gone. This one here. A drop. A beautiful test. This is a tiny little zone, but price has just moved away like that. I mean, there's like a, a six or seven to one on that one. Uh, this one here, entry, stop, and a huge reaction. Uh, this one here, I think this one's gone. This one here, we had an, a really nice reaction once again. This one here, price went through it, seeking liquidity at the buy zone for this area of demand. Um, another one here. It was qualified when this dot was formed. We had a lovely test and a huge departure. Yeah, gosh, uh, incredible, really, really incredible update. Okay, so a really exciting update. I think this is probably one of the, the most efficient um, versions of the software that, would, that we've ever had. So <clears throat> enjoy it. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to run through a couple um, a couple of trades. Um, I had a trade on the, let me have a quick look at my telephone. Okay, got it here. So this was, I think this was a four hour trade to be honest, even though it looks like it was on the one hour chart. Yeah, right here. Um, I really like this one. Yesterday we were filled, we bought here, the stop was here and prices just went up. And we closed it off, actually really early this morning, I was laying in bed and I closed it off. Where was it? I think I closed it off here around, yeah, just here, just here. I closed it off. I was, I was looking at this one here because I thought that was a nice release. Okay, but I was in bed and, uh, and I didn't want to wake up to a, a break even tray. That would have been a bit, a bit tragic, but um. Yeah, so that was a really interesting trade based on, on the four hour chart. So that was a, just a set and forget. And what I liked about this one, and I don't normally trade zones like this, but what I liked about it is we had this nice area that was formed. And you can see here that we had some, we had some highs and the, and the software is showing you that, I mean, this is the most significant of these two highs, the highest one. So price went up, we failed. We failed, we went up and we failed. And you can see this candle here. All right, sorry about that. That was the postman paid me a, a wee visit. Okay, so we had a couple of tests here, one, two. And this candle here, you can see the slingshot, how it came back exactly to that area. So that was telling me in advance that this is a very price sensitive area. And it was, we had a nice test at it there. And we had another one there and prices went down into it and then we wriggled north from there. So it was a really interesting trade there. And I also had another trade on, um, let me think, uh, the Euro pound. And this was an interesting trade. It's kind of a pain because it got filled and it went 
pretty far into profit and then it came back immediately almost um, let me zoom out to reconfirm what level that was if that was a four hour or a daily perhaps I think this was based on this and so yeah so prices we got filled just here right here I was filled just here prices went up we went down and and I, le I left it in I left the in so we kind of we had a little bit of drawdown here and then prices snapped higher and then they came back to the to the entry and uh, and I think prices were around maybe here when I saw this and it was at a time where I I was I was occupied so I just shut it down and and now it came back to to this to this entry level just here and now it's kind of just finding a base here so essentially we had we had this like pretty interesting little area a small test just here and you can see how prices are really taking a stab at liquidity this is consuming uh, liquidity above price and this is good for the hypothesis hypothesis of higher prices okay because we are poking through we're, we're really consuming them and you can see there's a lot there because I mean prices went all the way up there then we came back and we closed bull in the bottom half of the candle we did that two times first here then we had another go and we closed lower and so I mean that's telling us that there's a lot of clout in around here um, and so I mean if you if you have a look here you can see this is essentially just the kind of the bottom end if we just look at the close prices so we can kind of get an idea where we have a uh, commitment price commitment we have something kind of around here and this is where prices seem to be having a difficult time uh, moving beyond okay but I think the time it's just a matter of time before it erodes away but uh, a very interesting one um, okay so I just want to show you um, I had a question the other day that came in and someone asked I mean how I was using the software to trade and I'm not going to overcomplicate it I'm just going to do it really really simply what I like to do is I like to have on my entry time frame which can typically be I don't know the, um, it's often the four hour the daily and the one hour it's normally one of those and I just simply just drag the pair on the chart and I'll say what do I what do I fancy here and uh, at the moment I'm doing some testing on the on the new uh, buy and sell zones so I have it uh, trading um, first four hour so priority to the four hour levels and then one hour um, thereafter and I'm skipping over the um, uh, the daily time frames for the time being uh, but we have I'm doing this essentially where we just kind of I just drag it over all right so and I'm just looking all right the postman came back with another delivery all right so and what I'm doing I'm just I'm simply dragging it over and and what I am doing if I like something and I have buy and sell zones on the chart and it's just getting involved um, immediately so I just click it on um, and so what I'm what I'm looking for just a, a quick explanation so the software now is if we have an area like uh, like this one here this is a really good example um, where we have this is a high here we have a zone this is the high price is left and we came back and we tested not the zone but the high okay the previous high this area of accumulation um, consumed in order to qualify this one if price comes back to that high um, then the zone has been tested and notice here that it has been marked as tested okay so in the situation here okay this one is given we had a test to the zone okay this is the low that was used to qualify this supply um, price tested it but price went into this zone okay but buy and sell zones it will put the limit order on and so until price either comes to the high of the zone or into the zone itself until that happens uh, the limit order will stay there but once it's been tested one time and the order has been filled then it will not um, take that trade again okay so in this is what I'm doing 
and I, I'm really not trying to overcomplicate it. What I like to do is I just like to look at the chart. Are we going up or are we going down? In a situation like this, I think it's it's pretty clear. I think um, my cat could tell me that the prices are going up. Then I'm only then I'm only gonna um, I'm only gonna buy. I'm not gonna sell at supply like we had here or here. Even though both of these worked out, that's kind of against the flow. So I don't want to do that. And so I'm just doing that. I drag the next one on the chart. And I'm looking higher or lower, going higher. Good. That means we're buying at demand. That's it. We're not selling anything. Um, and we had we had this one here, which is kind of in the middle. You know, we talk about this a lot where we have where we have chaos, you know, and we have clarity. Oops, wrong tool. We have clarity here, clarity, clarity. Okay, so this one we would we would not take. Um, but we would take uh, different ones that are clearer. This was something that we would consider. <laughs> Sorry, I just breathed in a bug. And the bugs in Bali are not small. <laughs> Gosh, that was a meal. Okay, and so we had another one here. Tiny little zone, but we had a reaction. We had this one here. Moved beyond here. This is the entry. Beautiful reaction. This one we would not take. Why? Because prices are going higher. So we'd be keen on prices uh, coming down to this level. Let me remove all of these. See this one, it's already been tested and it was tested on the release right there. You see it's dotted. That means price tested that before they went higher. Incredible trade. This one as well. Prices tested this on the release and they actually tested them right here. Let me, okay, let me try and zoom out. That's a bit of a... I zoom in rather that's a bit of a difficult difficult one to see um, okay let me pinpoint that one I have to do it like this and so this one here that when the dot came on the chart this zone was qualified you see there's a little red candle just afterwards that comes to the the structure that qualified the zone this is where prices came to and they left Thus, the zone has been tested. This one is untested. We have white space all the way from the high of the structure that qualified it until the buy zone, which is around here, I think. Um, untested. Um, here we have another beautiful one. Departure, release, gone. Okay, and then we have some fresh zones down here that are yet to be tested. But you can see, man, these, these zones are smoking, absolutely smoking hot. And so this gives me a lot more confidence in buy and sell zones now based on the new updates. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, I think this is um, uh, the UK one. Let me zoom out. There's not a lot. I don't really trade this. Here we had another one here. This is, if we look at this, are we going up or down? We can't really see. Let's go to the four hour. We're kind of stuck in a range, aren't we? So we're with that in mind, you want to be looking above these zones. We have a zone here, and we have something down here. I wouldn't I wouldn't fiddle with, with the zones in here uh, simply because we are moving in a range. And so prices are going to take advantage of that, and they're going to use the whole range. And so trading in the middle is a, is, is, is a bad idea. So we don't want to do that. Um, we go to the daily chart we're moving higher and so we want to be buying at demand okay even though at the time okay when the time this was formed we were moving lower and we tested it so that's fine but you can see here that we started to break higher we, we're trading above these 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 significant highs then we started to, to feed into this zone here I mean I wouldn't be buying inside uh, here I would be positioning myself um, in line with these buy zones, which so this area of demand here is gone, and I wouldn't be keen on selling until we kind of met uh, price points like this or price points uh, like this. These little patterns just here, which you're going to see on the smaller time frames. But just trying to keep it really simple. If we have a look at the DAX, I know we have a lot of DAX traders in the room. Uh, we want to see stuff like this where we had. Uh, okay, we had this zone. Let's start at the bottom. We had this zone here, and it was tested on the release. There's a wick down into the high. Price is left. We got this zone here, fresh, untested. This little zone here, 
which has been tested there's on the departure price came back tested the high before it left higher we've got this one here which is fresh this one here you can see that wick down into the zone we left higher this one here was tested over here a couple of times this one here is tested on the release this one here price went through it this one here we tested the bottom of it here we tested the bottom we tested the bottom I can't believe how amazing these levels are I mean look at it it's um it's incredible the main thing you have to be aware of is when price starts to break down but when we leave when we leave something that resembles like a pretty strong uptrend like that and we start to move sideways like that you have to be mindful of this okay you have to be mindful of the fact that that we are that we are starting to to kind of move move lower lower highs and lower lows okay and you cannot continue to trade in the same way as you were as price was going up like this okay you you really have to pay attention to this okay and if you do you'll do well and the reason rather the way that you want to do this is you want to look for the zones <clears throat> that start to get violated here we had a zone and it broke okay that's a sign that we have selling higher which means okay okay so the character of this price movement higher is changing we are we are looking to move lower and each time that happens you want to mark off where the low is and then you ask yourself the question is this a buy zone for an area of demand you can see you can see it is what area of demand would that be it would be here and then you would say has that area been tested it has okay then you would pass on that I mean it worked but you need rules you would pass on that and you'd say where do we have a zone that has not yet been tested well we had one here so you'd you'd pass on this one because it was tested here and you would position yourself here along here once that tested you would look lower okay do we have another zone we have a zone down here is it tested it was tested on the release how did it release sharply do we have a buy zone established we do right there so this would be the place where you would look to begin to accumulate uh, bullish positions uh, shorter term okay price is still trading that wasn't very good it's still trading within rather it, it, it's still respecting these high levels which means that maybe we have to have another run lower to load load the boat necessary to push prices higher and so then you'd ask yourself the question where is the buy zone it's right here okay so this is where you would look and once price comes here then you would look again we have a little one here we have one just here and so on and so forth so really try to pay attention to these small details um, because I think they're uh, super important okay good that's 23 minutes it's Friday. Um, I'm going to uh, check out for now, but I wish you all uh, a very good weekend. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.